The current model for ministry that we have in the Adventist Church is very much like all other Christian churches. Um, typically, a minister will be assigned to, to shepherd or care uh, a certain group of churches, okay? And he's responsible for the care of those churches. And, and uh, depending on the country, it has a lot to do with how many churches that he has. In some countries, it may be one or two, but other countries could be 30 or 40. But um, is it, uh, and, but where did we get that? Uh, and is it biblical? First, we must understand what the original model for ministry was. Paul is the example that we are to use for our model of ministry. And we all will agree with that. Uh, every Christian denomination would state that. So what did Paul do, though? Paul would go into an area, raise up a new body of believers, he would ordain elders to take care of the church. And uh, Acts uh, chapter 20 tells us about that. He was in Miletus, and he called to the elders at Ephesus to come. And then he told them to take care of the flock of God over the which the Holy Ghost had made them overseers. So the Holy Ghost has indicated that the elders are to be the overseers of the church. And the mere fact that we have the letter to the Corinthians, the letters, to, letters, excuse me, to the Corinthians, the letters to the Thessalonians is proof to the fact that Paul was no longer there. Sometimes Timothy would stay with him for a while, but Timothy no, wasn't there forever either. The elders were granted the responsibility for the local church. And then Paul would go on to raise up more churches, and the gospel went quickly that way. In the Adventist Church, we followed that model up until about the time of the death of Ellen White, and we were phenomenal in our growth. Uh, many denominations looked at us and wondered, why is it that you grow? You know, you have an unpopular belief. You worship on Saturday. And not only that, uh, we were a laughing stock after 1844, and yet we were growing faster than anybody. And it's because we had no settled ministers. They were planters. They were evangelists and planters, and the churches were stronger because the elders had to be strong to lead them. And so is our current model for ministry biblical? No, it isn't. Where did we get it? We got it from the Protestant churches. After Ellen White died, for whatever reason, we decided we'd be like them. And where did they get it? Well, that's a good question. They received it from where they came. The Protestant churches broke off of what church? The Roman Catholic Church. In the time of Martin Luther in the 1500s, Council of Trent, Session 24, they deemed that dioceses needed to be divided into canonical parishes. That's basically a conference needs to be divided into a pastoral district. And there was to be a pastor to take care of the religious instruction of the faithful. Nothing about outreach at all. It's all about keeping the saints saints. And so when Martin Luther and those guys broke away from the Catholic Church, they didn't understand that there was anything wrong with that model. They were trying to separate on the issue of righteousness by faith. So they brought that error with them, and we started out 100% biblical, as long as we followed the prophet in the scripture. But then we disobeyed the prophet, and we've kept this model for a long time. And from America, missionaries sent out, and guess what? We brought the wrong model to the rest of the world. So no, it's, that is not biblical. We have a biblical message, but we're not using the best method to get it out.